Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Today's topic is going to be chronic granulomatous disease. Well, how do you make the diagnosis of chronic granulomatous disease? The key thing is to look for physical exam signs and you'll have recurrent pneumonia, lymphadenitis, skin and hepatic and other abscesses, osteomyelitis with catalase positive organisms such as staph aureus. Okay, so these are key findings. And also aspergillus and C. albicans, the gram negatives have been implicated in this disease. On physical exam you'll see recurrent infections and on lab findings there will be um, the NBT being replaced now with 1,2,3-dihydrodamine flow cytometry. So that's the key test here which increases fluorescence when oxidized by hydrogen peroxidase. Also understand that this is a 1X-linked disease with three autosomal recessive chromosomes. Neutrophils and monocytes can ingest but they cannot kill catalase positive organisms because of a defect in the generation of microbial oxygen metabolites. Associated findings include granuloma formation and inflammatory process which are hallmark and you have pyloric outlet obstruction, bladder and ureteral obstruction, rectal fistula as well as intestinal granuloma. And the treatment is that there's the only cure is stem cell transplantation. So as a quick review, recurrent pneumonia, lymphadenitis, skin, hepatic and other abscesses with osteomyelitis and staph aureus, possible gram negatives like aspergillus and C. albicans with, again, theme is recurrent infections. You get the 1,2,3-dihydrodamine flow cytometry test. Uh, you look for pyloric outlet obstruction, bladder and urethral obstruction, and rectal fistula and intestinal granuloma. And the treatment is going to be stem cell transplantation. Please visit complexflashcards.com for additional lectures for the board exam.